Gives a little history of uh, Chesning, place of the Big Rock by Mark Lauren Ireland and history of Saginaw County, Michigan, 1881. This just kind of gives a brief overview of the history of Chesning, which was formerly known as Northampton Township, uh, according to this article. Um, if you ever visit downtown Chesning, uh, most likely, most likely, uh, you will see the sign out in front. Um, Chesning, meaning place of the big rock, or is it Chesning? Okay, I think I'm saying that correctly. I hope so. But this is. Uh, used to be home of Showboat City, but we're not much of anything anymore, just another town, another location on a map. Uh, let's check out some other places. Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund. Revenue derived from oil, gas, and mineral production from state-owned lands provided funding for this public recreation site. Funding is made possible through a grant provided to the citizens of the state of Michigan by the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund, otherwise known as the Michigan DNR, the Department of Natural Resources. River Rapids Bridge Platinum Donors. Doctors T and C Weisenberger, Chesning Sports Plane Association, D O'Rourke, T N A Meter. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. CenturyLink, Garden Club, Dow Corning, D E Q and D D A. August 13th, 2014. Hmm, interesting. This is the walk bridge on the north end of Coal Park, which crosses the Shiawassee River. Oop, get my finger out of the uh, frame there. But this is the south, or the, actually I should say this is the Shiawassee River. I'm facing south. The bridge you see in front of you where the traffic is crossing would be M57. It's the only highway that goes directly through town. It gets you from one end of town to the other because uh, there are no other streets or roads that will take you from one end of town to the other. So M57 is the only direct route. It takes you from Chesning, uh, from the west side of Chesning to the east side of Chesning and anywhere else in town you choose to go. 
That is uh, Cole Park over there, the plan, uh, the uh, the playscape. If I can talk today, uh, it's the playscape over there for the kids. And there used to be a great big dam. Now they seem to have made it into something other than a dam. It doesn't look like a dam to me anymore. I'll be damned. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the Shiawassee River. Now we're facing the north. Uh, on the Shiawassee River. Not much to see over here, just the river and some trees. Beautiful landscape. Uh, but that's about it, as far as that goes. There's another playground over here for the kids. Uh, pavilion. I remember coming down here when I was a kid. My dad used to go fishing in here and he used to bring us boys down here. And of course, you know, you had the shade trees there. So me being allergic to the sun, that tree really provided some serious shade so I wouldn't get burnt from the sun. Um, Family reunions and birthday parties, plenty of those here at this pavilion. Not my family reunions though, my family reunions are miles away from Chesning. But we have had some uh, birthday parties for the kids down here. Yeah, that sounds about right. You need to, uh, yeah, and it is a law. You need to clean up after your pets. 75 to a $500 fine. Yeah, that's that's a serious chunk of money, 500 bucks for refusing to clean up pet droppings. Well, sanitation is something that they take very seriously, uh, as they should. Uh, because nobody wants to have that unpleasant experience. Prohibited. No glass bottles, no pets, no smoking, no rollerblades, no bikes, and no littering. And they call this the Riverboat Playland. This was never here when I was a kid. Um, it's been here for quite a long time now, but when I was a kid, when I grew up in Chesney, they never had all this here. Um, but it is pretty cool. I've walked on that with my friend's kids and my cousins, and it's pretty cool. They did a good job. As you can see, they keep the place looking fairly decent. I mean, you know, you get some kids coming down here, they leave their wrappers and things laying around. You know how kids are, but for the most part, I mean, they... they do a pretty good job. Welcome to our Playscape. The Playscape is reserved for tots to age 12 and caregivers. Hours of operation are from Sunday, or pardon me, hours of operation are from sun up to sundown. The Playscape is electronically monitored. Playscape rules. Play safely and be courteous to others. Children must be supervised at all times. No pets, no smoking or alcohol, no glass containers. No skateboards or rollerblades, no jumping or climbing from different levels. I thought they made all that clear on that other sign I just pointed at. But anyway, I digress. Respect and joy return. Re respect and joy return. If you notice safety issues or non-compliance of rules, please notify staff at Village of Chestening offices, 1100 Broad Street, or by phone at area code 989-845-3800. Donated by Tom and Angie Meter and family, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I'm not. Uh, and over here they even give a they give a bit of a detailed description of all the uh, people who've made some donations. First mate and deckhand. Wow. Impressive. Hmm. 
But this is uh, the playscape where all the kids come out to play and hang out with their friends. And yeah, it's pretty nifty, but I'm not going to hang around here. Nice little swing sets. Uh, not going to hang around here. We're going to keep walking. <clears throat> Get on this nice public sidewalk here. There's a tab on the ground from a uh, from an, uh, uh, look like a pop can tab that I saved for the uh, Ronald McDonald houses and things. Uh, well, I guess it would be just the Ronald McDonald house. <laughs> River Rapids District Library, Chesning, Michigan. See, if you don't live in Chesning Village or Township, you are not allowed to come into the library. Which I think is uh, shitty to say the least, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Planet Video over there used to be known as the Showboat Party Express. There's our post office. And now we're going to walk back towards downtown. It's the front of the library. I don't know why they put this bike path in here, which would be over there closer to the street, but I don't know why they put it in here. We really don't need a bike path. Well, let's check this out, the rain garden. How it works, storm water enters the garden from sidewalk, curb cuts, and road inlets. The water temporarily ponds and is then absorbed by the soil and plants. This process removes harmful pollutants and reduces storm water runoff. Huh. Of course, stormwater management, MDOT, Michigan Department of Transportation. They are the ones who put the uh, bike path in here, which of course, uh, that was an MDOT decision, not the village of Chesning, to my knowledge anyway. The sign that tells a motorist, say, hey, this is the Shiawassee River, and if you're using the bike trail, just stay on it. So we're going to walk up the bridge and walk across the bridge. Excuse me. We'll get a picture of the uh, businesses on the opposite side of the street too. We'll go on the opposite side here, guys, and uh, if it looks familiar, it should. I was just over here pointing to that building there. <laughs> just got to wait for the light to change. Here we go. Oh, you ran a red light. I got it on film. Oh, boy. Lucky I didn't get the plate number. <laughs> okay. Oh, what am I doing? It's a red light. I got to wait. <laughs> See? Oh, now I can go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> New Ridge Drawers. 
Oh yeah, they they saw grandfather clocks and jewelry and all kinds of good stuff here, guys. And of course, they're closed. Expert watch repair. Oh yeah, watches, jewelry, grandfather clocks. They've got it all here. Um, this business would be called Poppin Decor Balloon Company. So it's a balloon company. Oh, okay. Look at your party poppin'. Located at 107 Broad Street, Chesney. Come on in and check us out. Be mindful we do work with latex. Careful if you have allergies. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, the Beatles Abbey Road. 50th anniversary celebration. Oh, interesting. September 27th and 28th at Shovel Park in Chesney. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's get out of here and check out the rest of these businesses. Uh, Silver Shear Hair Studio. This has been here for, oh shit, God knows how long. Uh, and you see the old barber's pole? They still have that. They kept tradition alive. So that's pretty cool. Financial advisor. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's it's that business there. That's the door to get into there. Duh. Another barber shop. Uh, probably, in my opinion, the best barber in town. Um, and he's keeping the tradition alive as well by having the barber pole out in front. This guy here does a superb job. He is one of a kind. Um, he gives really good haircuts. Okay. Family Insurance Services. Good Neighbor Pharmacy, Family Pharmacy, Night Drugs. Yeah, Century 21. Yeah, they went out of business as well. Noreen's, which used to be a Hallmark Gold Crown store. 989666. I think sounds like a Bay City number. There might be 616. I don't remember. But this used to be a Hallmark Gold Crown gift store. Um, and a pharmacy, of course, as you probably would imagine. But it was a gifts and card shop. And they are also out of business. This is Red Wing Shoes. This whole section right here that I'm about to show you. This is all Red Wing Shoes. This has been a staple of chestening for any number of years. I'll have to do the research and find out when they first opened their doors. But uh, they have some really interesting things in here too. Uh, Well-respected business in the community and... They've been here for, I don't know, forever, it seems like, even before I was born. And they call this Ed Raymond and Sons. They sell, of course, Carhartt Red Wing shoes. Chestnut Spirit Wear, go Indians. <laughs> And of course, we're on Broad Street crossing Saginaw Street. In front of Ace Hardware, they're closed. Everything closes early in this town. <laughs> and that is a fact. Everything closes early in this town. I don't understand why, uh, but they do. Waltz Crawlers, got a Craftsman sign up there. It's looking a bit faded. But that's the big hardware store. 
And that's the other entrance into Ace Hardware. There's a propane pig out in front. And over here is a store called Beans where they do embroidery and silk screening. Now for those of you who are uh, parents of cancer warriors, I had your bird shirts made here. Um, and the people here are remarkable. They do an amazing job and I would recommend them to anybody. I don't know if they still have the machinery. Uh, matter of fact, I know they don't have the machinery uh, because I came here uh, not too long ago and requested to have a bird shirt made, um, but they don't have the machine to make it anymore. So that's why I kind of stopped doing the bird shirts. And that's the front entrance into Designs by Bean. And then down here we have a lawyer Greenfelder and Greenfelder, attorneys at law. This is no soliciting. I'm not soliciting, just passing through. Don't mind if I do. Greenfelder and Greenfelder, attorneys at law. So, this is uh, the downtown area of Chesning. This is another uh, lawyer over here. Um, behind this bus, we have Dollar General, State Farm Insurance. Um, and we have a really nice looking car over here that I want to check out. Really cool. I've seen this car parked here uh, all week long passing through town, but I never really looked at it. And it is for sale. Beautiful car. It's only got 7,500 miles on it. Text. 989-239-8062 or call 989-239-8050. Beautiful car. Really super cool. Nice interior. Wow. Very nice car. I'm not a car aficionado, so I wouldn't know the year or, you know, I wouldn't know any of that information, but it is a Volkswagen because I saw where it says Volkswagen, see? Uh, come on, come into view, come into view. I don't know why it fades like that. It's got Michigan plates on it. Yeah, sweet ride. Nice exhaust pipes too. Okay, so we're gonna go back over to my van. <laughs> a porter john <laughs> okay yep another lawyer here as i pointed out stephen regal uh or however you pronounce that stephen Ra ragiel i have no idea i've never <laughs> been a client of his so i don't know how you pronounce it that's state farm insurance used to be uh the former iga store that was here for 50 years then they went out of business Nothing lasts around here, folks. Not sure if you're noticing a pattern here, but nothing lasts in this town, and it's kind of depressing because when I grew up here, everything was here. Um, you know, everybody wanted to come to Chesning for one reason or the other. Uh, that was 25 years ago. Today, in 2019, everybody's trying to get the hell out. Uh, lots of foreclosures on homes because you know they can't afford to pay the taxes and it ends up going back to the financial institutions which is sad because Chesning is a very nice community they've just lost their touch over the years much like you know many small communities like the, like this one so but anyway that's kind of an overview of the downtown area and we're going to go back home this is my van so see you in the next video guys peace